What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Oluveru Strange Things where I share with you guys strange and mysterious stories from all over Oluveru. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a story that happened at Merinyan. So those that know Merinyan, they know that uh, it's full of strange and mysterious stories. Some of these stories sound like they're made up. They sound like they're myth. But today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a story that really happened. It was a long time ago. I was still a boy, but I remember it very well. So if you know Merinyan, you do know that it's a mountain, right? The village is on top of a mountain. But at the peak of Merinyan, there's a place called Hasehota. That's where the story took place. So, uh, right next to Hasekota, the where it is the peak of Merinyan, right? Like it's up there, it's on top of Merinyan. There's a forest, it's a pretty huge forest. It stretches for kilometers, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a huge forest. Uh, it's even where they, they, they do these initiation schools. So if you know about this, if you know tradition and you know about these initiation schools, you know that they are conducted at the forest. So this one time, uh, they found something. Commu members of the community there at Hasehota, they found something in the forest. I'm not really sure how they found it at the forest, but I assume uh, this thing was found by this ladies that collect firewood. If you're from the village, you do know that wherever there's a forest, there's bound to be ladies that collect firewood for cooking, for heating their water, for basically everything that you do with electricity, they do with firewood. Some even iron their clothes using firewood. They've got this metal irons, they just, they just heat it up on the fire and then iron their clothes so yeah essentially it can be used for everything so i assume these ladies they were going about their business at the forest collecting firewood to take home when they found this thing and they alerted uh, other members of the community to come and witness this so what they had found was an old man looking very dirty very disorganized nails long with Dead inside the nails, hair long, beard long. It's like this guy hadn't taken a bath in months, if not years. And he wasn't wearing anything. He was just wearing uh, underwear. He was wearing this red short pen. <laughs> yeah, short pen, not even boxes. So you can imagine maybe he's been stuck there before they even invented uh boxes so members of the community they drag this old man out of the forest and out into the open so that everyone else can witness so they're trying to get answers out of him what is he doing there is he doing some kind of rituals is he is he a tokoloshi is he a umkovu ah uh, is he a zombie they're not getting answers so the community is coming up with ideas. Let's burn him. Let's speed him up. Let's any worst thing that you can think of. They wanna do to this guy. I think even one guy even said, "Let's take a nail, put it on his forehead, hit it with a hammer till the nail goes in there." Yeah, crazy. I know. I think even the police were alerted of the situation. So before members of the community could agree on what to do with the old man, police arrived and they rescued the dude uh it was a bit of a relief for some because uh, if he couldn't answer members of the community maybe he was scared but then we were definitely sure that he would answer the questions that the police have for him so we're hoping that the police will come back with answers as to who is this guy where is he from what is he doing there how did he end up there how long has he been there so okay the the police they came 
the fine members of the community ready to do the worst to this old man uh they load the guy in the back of his van of their van they go with them to Hapadi police station uh so he's riding alone at the back of the van as you guys know when when the police load we load you at the back of the van they don't ride with you at the back it's not an ambulance so fine they get to the police station they walk to the back of the van to unload the guy guess what they find nothing nara all they find is poop in the back of the van the old man is finished disappeared into thin air yeah i know it sounds like a myth but this really happened guys so till this day the people are left with no answers nobody knows who he was what he was doing as a is it Tokoloshi? If he's a Tokoloshi, who does he belong to? What has he been eating up there if he has been living up there? People had so many questions. Yeah, this is one of the many creepy stories that happen at Mirinin. I might share some more stories from Mirinin. Creepy, mysterious, and strange stories from Mirinin. So. I might. I said I might. So the only way for you guys to find out if I do share more stories from Merian is for you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post. Peace.